easy. And if it doesn't work out, it might work harder, and you'll never know. <laughs> okay? You'll never get yelled at, okay? Because we're, we're again, this is about you, not about not about me. Okay? So jump on board. Okay. It always feels like you need to slide real, really close. Okay. Yeah, but don't, don't worry. What I want you to do, and you'll feel me grab your knee and push it like that, is in the breaking area, what I want you to try to do is use your knee to stop your, your, your backside from moving forward, all right? But if you end up moving forward, don't worry about it, because I'm, you're going to feel me do this and help you slide back, okay? So, you know, if I'm, if I'm breaking really, really light, if I break really light, you'll never move, and it'll be a nice, boring scooter ride. But that's not what racing's about. And, and what I want to do is take it to your limit, and your limit is whatever your strength is, whatever your expectation is, and so on, because at the end of the day, I want you to really understand what MotoGP is all about, and when these guys are racing, and, and, and you know, really feel the next experience, okay? Give me your hands. So there you go. So, just like this one, we're going to go to the left. Mm -hmm. Just really look down so at that, at that back. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Really remember this. Really focus and go, you know what, I need to do that and not look at Randy's center or Randy's back. And then when we go to, when we go to the right. The racetrack's not really... The, the first section, right when we begin to do it, again, it's turn two, three, four. That's just going to be a rhythm type, type section in a steady gear. And then obviously towards the end of the lap, we'll try to pick up the pace better as, as best we can. Down the back straight, we'll for sure be doing in kilometers to 60, 270, which is 160, 170 miles an hour. You should not have said that. <laughs> you should not have said that. <laughs> now, again, the slower we come out of the corner going on to it, it doesn't matter. You'll never know when we hit 260, 240 or whatever because everybody goes, oh my God. The, the president of Ducati, when we first did this project, was my first passenger in Mugello, and he said, I will never do this. Federico Minoli, I will never go with you, I have children and so on. And I said, Federico, give, me, give, give it to me. You've allowed us to build this bike. It's only right that you're, you're, you're on it. Let me just go fast on the straight. And we did it, I promised him, and that's what it was. I kept him in second gear through corners. I didn't want to scare him, because the last thing you want is someone more nervous on the back. You want them having fun, and this is what this is about. Okay? okay. Shares number three. All 92 kilos of it. <laughs> 88, I think Sorry, you'll find it was. Sorry, 82 Williams. kilos, was it? <laughs> yeah, I've been briefed by Randy and told what to do, so I'm going to try and remember it now at 160 miles an hour. Are you excited? Yes, I am very, very, very excited. It's going to be, it's going to be minutes. It's going to be cool. Really, really good. <laughs>
group were like going like this all the time. Really? What? Ten pence, five piece, ten pence, five piece. <laughs> Thank you. 